What if I told you that rather than just jumping out of bed in the morning, if you made one quick stop that took just three to four minutes with five stretches, that you could change the way you feel that day. And not just that, if you could string it together every morning, you'll feel like 10 years younger if you just do this one little routine. So let me share with you exactly what you can do because it's actually simple. You're gonna flow through these exercises so you're not gonna miss anything. So what we do is we start on the floor and it can be right next to your bed. It could be right here on the living room floor, but we start with one exercise called the bridge and reach over. And I'll explain what you're trying to target as you do it, but you get in this position with your knees bent, feet flat on the floor, back and head on the ground. And what you do is you bridge up, get your glutes engaged, good way to wake them up in the morning, but get them firing up. And at the same time, take one arm and reach as far back over the opposite shoulder as you can. And what this does is it not only activates the glutes, but it gets some rotation through that upper spine, which is one thing we don't have enough of at all. I come back, fire up, reach across to the opposite side. And what you'll do is about five or six repetitions to each side, because you can get that lat more and more loosened up. Okay, from there, you sit up, you come forward here, now we work on an area of the low back that way too many people complain of tightness and pain in. It's called the QL. It's right on the side of your back, right up over here. It gets really tight. It actually kind of hikes the hip up a little bit on that side. So what you do is you get palms down now. I'll take my right leg in this case, drop it back, and at the same time land on that right hip. Okay, right here. Reach as far as I can for that back foot and just stretch by pushing into the floor. And you'll see as I switch sides here, really it targeting that quadratus muscle that we talked about, the QL. So I'm here, I come out of that, drop this side back, let my body rotate till the hips hit the ground, use my hands here to post, and it's this area right over here that's getting stretched out. And again, it gets really tight on people, and it causes a lot of low back pain. It has nothing to do with the mechanics of your spine or having spinal issues, it's just having tightnesses and key muscles that you don't work on. So we do that, again, holding each one for about 10 or 15 seconds, two, two to three on each side. From here, now we get into a deep squat, okay? So kind of like a frog position. And what I want you to do is take your hands, put them right down here in between your heels, okay? Right as flat as you can into the ground, and then take your elbows and drive them into your thighs. All right, so that gives you a little bit of adductor stretch in your groin, but what it's gonna really help you do is work once again on that rotation. So I wanna take one arm up and reach as high as I possibly can, but it's this elbow that's driving in and not letting the leg move that's gonna help me post off and get higher and higher and higher and higher into that rotation. And when you look in the back side, you can see all that thoracic rotation again into that area of the spine that gets just way too tight and way too little attention. I bring it back down to the ground. Now I'm gonna post off with the right side, digging that elbow in, but not letting this leg move. Open up, come up to this side, and reach. So not only am I getting a deep squat for my hips, but also my groin and all that rotation. And you can see that even though I've done this routine myself every single day and every morning, it's still a challenge every time you do it but man, you start to feel really, really good when you're done. And this is about how much time I spend when I do it. Now, I'm making my way up, right? That cup of coffee is calling and I'm almost there, but not yet. So now I'm on my knees. I get into this deep lunge position. Here we're targeting this hip flexor. And anybody that sits all day knows that this should be loose if that's what's ahead of you throughout the day, a bunch of sitting. I get into the stretch first, okay? So I get into this tall kneel, I drop down, stretching out this hip flexor. Then I take the hands up overhead like this and I rotate around the forward knee. So here and open. And it's not just that, as I'm turning, I'm also sinking in more and tilting a little bit, tilting this way to open that up even more. Just think about how can I open this area as much as I possibly can and also get that rotation through the thoracic spine. Good stretch there, come out of it nice and slow. You don't want to rush out of any of these things. Drop your hip again on that side, then get into this position, turn over that front knee, and lean and open. Just like that. 
Okay, now, one area we really haven't addressed yet is the hamstrings. People oftentimes say, I'm gonna stretch them out, I go like this. That is not stretching the hamstrings. Because as soon as you go into this posterior tilt of your pelvis, you're taking all the tension off the hamstrings and you're really trying to focus more on other muscles. I don't want that. I want you to get into the hamstrings if you're gonna stretch them. So what we do is we go anterior tilt, all right? So here, I'm gonna take my hands behind me, get an arch into that low back, okay? Hands behind like that, chest open, and now sink my butt backwards. That's it. Chest is staying as high as I can, like pointing out that way, and I'm sinking my butt back. So in this position here, butt's back, chest is up and out. I feel it all through the back of my legs into my hamstrings. Yeah, you don't need to go bend from here. As soon as you bend here, I've got so much more room, but it's not coming from actual flexibility of the hamstrings. Keeping in this anterior pelvic tilt with that arch in the back is going to ensure that it's all coming from the hammies. So again, you could do this a little bit more dynamically, 10 or 15 seconds, right down, get to that bottom position. It's also good for reinforcing how to hinge properly when you're gonna do a deadlift or a bent row if you're in the gym training that day. And then, and only then, can I go get my cup of coffee? It's like a reward for doing what you're supposed to do. Stop just getting up in the morning, flying out of bed, and getting your day started. I promise you, if you just spend a little bit of time doing just these five moves, you will feel better right away, like I do now, but more importantly, when you string it together and make it an every morning stretch routine, you're gonna feel so much better. Like I said before, literally years and years younger than you do right now. If you're looking for a complete program, guys, where we do more than just stretch, we get your muscles looking the way they should too and provide you with a meal plan that you should be eating when you go over and have your coffee. You can do that over at athletics.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you leave your comments and thumbs up below and also make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, see you soon.